Winery, and we're gonna be uh, destemming this stuff. And he's asked me to help. He was supposed to get some help today, but uh, it was my destiny to be out here to help him. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to sort of getting my uh, sort of feet wet, if you will, back in the uh, cellar. And uh, I'll be doing this. Up, just we'll be pressing this and put, putting this into a tank. In just a second here, we're gonna get some real, actual harvest footage. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Even if it's already depicted, they don't have enough people out to do it all at once. Talk some more about the difference between the space and the clusters on dry forming as opposed to... Well, you know, you're gonna just get a little bit bigger grapes because they got more water coming into them, they're gonna be real tight. Okay. Yeah, see, there's no... But that's just good, then see, this is a little bit of... You can see, a little bit of... Space, space in there, yeah. promised you know I got up uh, got up on the pallets and uh, you know I told Bill that I would be there to help him do this and you know I'm all about it and uh, like I said I had done this uh, two two of the past four seasons um, for a smaller operation kind of like this too um, what I didn't realize though was that you know halfway through this bin I realized ah where I was doing it the forklift had a little special attachment so you could tilt the stuff into the uh, destemmer. Um, you didn't necessarily have to uh, fork out a whole, there was a ton of grapes in there. Um, and uh, either I'm really out of shape, which I don't like to think I am, or uh, I just really hadn't done that before. Um, you might hear uh, Bill and Victor, Victor's the guy in the sweatshirt, they were being pretty complimentary to me afterwards. I was commenting about the, uh, the puffy feeling in my arms after shoveling out that uh, ton of Merlot into the destemmer, and uh, they were like, oh, no, 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 man, you know, it's like, uh, that's about what one person can do, and then we have to switch. Bill did the first bin, I did the second bin, and then uh, Victor did the third bin, and uh, here we go, uh, this is my, uh, here's my um, sort of, yeah, see, <sighs> and then what do I do, you know, because it's Mark Milton. I have to, uh, you know, flex for the camera and, and kind of. But it was a workout. It was a workout. This is this is physical, demanding, dangerous work. You can get yourself hurt. That's it, baby. Stretch, yeah, Milton. So as we wrap up this segment, as we wrap up this uh, day here, um, in the foreground you'll see Bill cleaning out the destemmer. That's an worldly task, uh, and that's a small destemmer. Uh, I've worked on some bigger ones that can take a half an hour to clean out with the hose going full bore. Uh, in the background, you'll see Victor explaining to me why the Boston Red Sox are superior to the San Francisco Giants. I'm just kidding. What he's doing, well, what he's not doing, but what he is doing is he's punching down the wines. Uh, punch downs are the process by which the grape juice darkens. It extracts the color from the skin, stems, and seeds, gets the flavor from them also, and gets most of its tannic structure. In some cases, tannins are added artificially to the wines to give it more of that kind of leathery texture that tannins are known for. I'll have some more detailed footage, you know, like showing actually what's going on inside the bin. Unfortunately, I was charging my camera. Um, what he's doing is he's eroding the cap. When you pull the uh, cover off the uh, bin, you've got the cap of, of skins laying on top, mostly dry. Underneath it is the juice because it's denser. Um, you just push that down and it mixes in again and the juice continues to extract more color and flavor. And these are smaller bins. Uh, sometimes you'll see this done where you're standing over a board, you're standing on top of a plank and you're just punching down um, the, the, the wine that way. This way is a little bit safer. This must be a really select reserve wine. Teldesky and Weizenberger wines are small allocation wineries. Um, it's a really fundamental, kind of fascinating process too. Um, it's kind of like the cousin of the pump over, which I'll also have some footage of down the road. But for right now, I really want to thank Victor 
I want to thank Bill Weitzenberger. I certainly want to thank Daniel Teldesky for allowing us to film this on this Dry Creek Valley property. Uh, this is Mark Milton for Inside Juice. Thank everybody so much. And uh, we're, we're going to have more Harvest footage coming to you. Stay tuned right here on InsideJuice.com.